Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome guys to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. To the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu, and yes, I am the guy that sold literally everything he owned four years ago with his family, his house, his companies, his cars. We went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world, now coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal. In today's video, I will bomb you with really, really, really cool charts, also showing you again the profits of the BAM indicator and talking about cool news that I read this morning while I was drinking my delicious cup of coffee. And yes, also talking about the family, the huge Bitcoin family that is growing tremendously, almost 2k family members in the Discord server talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life every day, 24-7, day in, day out, as we have an international audience over there guys. Enjoy today's video. BAM! I am walking towards the beach. It will be probably a short video as I have a really busy day. Tomorrow we will do an awesome trip to a place near Lagos with the family. So tomorrow will be a family video combined with all the charts and the knowledge in blockchain guys. But first things first, let's start with the Bitcoin TA part. The part where I bomb you with really cool charts. This part. BAM! Let's take a look at the first Bitcoin chart, guys. This one, the day chart. And on this day chart, you can see that yesterday we reached the top of the cycle because the RSI was overperforming. The RSI was topping out around 90 almost. And that is what made the market turn around. And we pulled back to the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level. As long we stay above the 20 EMA, you can see this line coming up. This one is around 26,700 US dollar. We are still in an upward trend. So as long as we stay above this 20 EMA, we are still moving upwards in my opinion. So don't freak out, always zoom out. If we break this 20 EMA, we can fall all the way down to the 50 SMA, the simple moving average. If we fall down to the 50 simple moving average, that one is around 21,500 US dollar. That would be around a 39% pullback level from the 34K we came from. So this is now what is happening in Bitcoin. <laughs> I don't think we will pull back to the 50 SMA. I think we will be moving sideways in this range between 30 and 34K, like a little bit like going up, going down like this. And then maybe we will break out even to 40K. But if we don't do this, then we could fall down to these levels, the EMA, the 20 EMA or the 50 SMA, like you can see on this chart. Yes, we arrived on the beach. It's a few minutes walk. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the BAM BAM charts because I did two trades yesterday on two different accounts. One account was Dudex. If you want to sign up to Dudex, use the referral link. And the other trade was on Bybit. If you want to use Bybit, also use the referral links. Bybit has a $90 deposit bonus. Dudex has a $300 deposit bonus at the moment. Prime XBT still has a 50% deposit bonus. So whatever amount you deposit, you get 50% extra. So that's a, a lot of free trading capital there at Prime XBT. Um, yes, I agree. Prime XBT is an awesome exchange with a lot of cool features like copy trading and like the Turbo Boost game and all that stuff. So yes, do sign up to Prime XBT as well. Use the referral links down below the video. The first trade I did was on Dudex. Um, I need to be very honest, this trade was stopped out. I made loss over there. I longed the market at 28,700 US dollar. I thought that would be the bottom of the dip yesterday. So at 28,700 US dollar, I took a very small risk. I need to be honest, it was a small risk. I only played 30 US dollar, but with a leverage of 100. So if I would have, if the, if the trade would have played out, I would have had about $300 profit with a risk of $30 losing. And that is why I took that risk because I saw Bitcoin falling from 34,000 to um, 28,000. I was like, okay, now the market will turn again. So I took a long, 
a risky long, like $30 on a hundred leverage, which could have turned into 300 US dollar, but it didn't because we even dropped far more below. We dropped with a wick down to 27,700 and that is what stopped out my trade guys. Because if you play with a leverage of 100, okay, then the price only needs to dip a little bit to stop out your trade. So my trade of 30 US dollar was stopped out. So yes, I also make some losses now and then uh, when I'm trading with a very small amount. So was I, I was prepared to lose the 30 US dollar because I thought well, if I win, it's $300. So good risk reward, I thought, in my opinion, but I lost. The second trade I did on Bybit. On Bybit, I was more successful. Check this chart. Bam! On Bybit, I traded with 300 US dollar, 1% of the Bitcoin price with a leverage of 10. And like you can see, we always use a leverage of 10 and we always trade with 1% of the Bitcoin price because we don't want to take too big risks and we want to have a healthy risk reward ratio in our trading strategy that makes it possible for us to, in the long term, make a lot of profits. First trade was a very successful one that was a short of 94% that turned the 300 US dollar into 580 US dollar. Then we had a long, a 56% long, which turned the 580 US dollar into 900 US dollar. Then again, a short, I think it was 26 or 7%, which made the total amount 1170 US dollar. And we ended the day with a long, a 18% long, which brought the beautiful amount to 1390 US dollar starting only with $300, ending up with $1,300 is a $1,000 profit just with four trades using the DD Bam Bam indicator. And like I said, yes, I lose sometimes as well, but if I follow the signals and not my emotions and just play it well and just stay tuned to the screen or use a healthy trading stop loss or a take profit or a normal stop loss, then you're able in the long term to make profits. You will lose some and you will win some, but by using the Bam Bam indicator as a trading tool, you will win more than you lose. So you will end up winning more than you lose. But don't take unnecessary risks like I did, like a leverage of 100 or playing with more than like 5% of your complete capital or something like this. And then going long with a huge amount. I play with 10% of the Bitcoin price because I have a lot to play. But if you don't have that much to play, then maybe you should uh, turn it down to only playing with 5% of the Bitcoin price, of only 1% of the Bitcoin price and a leverage of 10. And don't use a leverage of 20 and 30 and 40 and 50 because you will be stopped out. The Bam Bam indicator is built on playing its safe risk reward ratio. So that's why we use a leverage of 10 and we don't over leverage our trades. And the amount you trade what with needs to be according to what you can lose. Some people always trade with only 5% of their total trading capital. Very good strategy. I play with 10% of the Bitcoin price. Also a good strategy if you can afford to lose 10% of the Bitcoin price. So that is what I mean with you need to create a very healthy portfolio, trading portfolio, where you decide how much of the portfolio you will use for every trade. If you trade, for example, with 5% of your portfolio, you can lose 20 times in a row to lose 100%. That is a strategy a lot of people use. They just trade with 5% of their complete trading portfolio. For me, I can afford a little bit more to lose, so that's why I play with 10% of the Bitcoin price. Always look at your own capital and then decide how much you will trade. If you trade with 5% of your capital, you need to lose more than 20 times in a row to lose the complete capital. Believe me, if you use the Bam Bam indicator in the right way, you're not going to lose 20 times in a row. You're going to win. And you're going to win more than you lose. And that makes profit. Let's take a look at another Bitcoin chart, guys. Let's take a look at Lisa's chart. This one, the very colorful one. Bam! Beautiful chart where Lisa is pointing out that we have a head and shoulders in the Bitcoin. And this means we would go from here again to 32,800 US dollar and then again to the bottom of the shoulder and the neckline which would be around 29,800 US dollar again. So Lisa is saying the same, we will be bouncing up and down sideways with Bitcoin. So yes, if you're looking into a moment to sell your Bitcoins now because you think we will crash down, then I would sell it 
around 30, 32,500 US dollar. Just take your profit there, wait for Bitcoin to retrace again to the 30K level and buy back then. That is what we refer to as spot trading. So then you don't use a leverage. You just sell your Bitcoins and you buy them back cheaper and you sell them again at the top and you buy them again at the bottom. Also a way you can trade. You can also use the Bam Bam indicator to just give you an indication when to sell and when to buy. You don't need to use the leverage trading. You can just read on the charts, sell the red flag or buy the green flag. So then you know when to buy your Bitcoin, sell them at the red flag and buy them again back at the green flag, sell them at the red flag and buy them again at the green flag. This is also a trading strategy where you don't use leverage and where you will never lose your Bitcoins. You can use the Bam Bam indicator in many different ways. Use it the way you feel most comfortable. That is, I think, the best advice I can give today. Let's jump into the blockchain news part. The part where I will talk to you guys of the news. This part. BAM! First news is about the CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, because he just said, why is the US doing all these regulations on stable currencies and cryptocurrencies? When people now use the United States regulated companies, the United States still has a insight in who is owning crypto, who's transferring crypto, who's buying, who's selling. If they are going to over-regulate the market, people are going to use offshore exchanges which the United States doesn't have insight in, so then they don't know anymore where all the money is flowing out from the United States citizens. So Jack is saying, don't do this. Don't make these rules too tight. Loosen them a little bit up so that these people in the United States can just own cryptocurrency and trade cryptocurrency on United States exchanges, because else they will send the money offshore to other countries and you will never be able to tax that money again. But the United States is a very strange country, guys, because on the other hand, you have the OCC and they just issued a letter where they are stating, ah, oh, the banks can now use notes to run stable currencies in the United States. So you see so many opposite like messages from the United States. I don't even understand why they don't talk with each other, you know? <laughs> they can't even agree. One is saying, ah, oh, we are going to make everything regulated and we're going to make it very difficult for people to own Bitcoin. And the others are saying, okay, we will now allow banks to run public blockchains and to run full nodes on stable currencies. It's like the opposite from each other in the United States. I can't understand why they don't just accept this evolution of money, which we refer to as Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. This is the evolution of money, America. So just be part of it. Don't fight it. Just go with the flow. You need to understand when the banks are allowed to run a full node for stable currencies, this means that they can use stable currencies instead of the SWIFT. Because now they used to do international transfers with SWIFT. And when they run a full node with stable currencies, they can use those stable currencies to replace SWIFT. Because yes, stable currencies on the blockchain are outperforming SWIFT in a huge time. Faster, reliable, transparent, all the advantages of running a stable currency on the blockchain will kill SWIFT in the future. So I think it's very positive that these banks now understand the power of blockchain, the power of stable currencies, and that in the United States now these banks are able to run full nodes. I don't understand why they regulate the shit out of all these exchanges in the United States so it isn't easy for people to buy and trade and sell their bitcoins. It's such a strange situation over there. That was already the news for today. Let's jump into the Bitcoin family part, the part where we talk about the family. Bam! I don't know if this camera is like performing well, guys. Let's talk about it because this is the DJI Osmo Pocket. Uh, I have this small screen below it and it looks like it's really dark and it's like bright and light and you know, yeah, there's some clouds, but if I turn around, then the light gets better. Now it's like clear. And if I walk this way, it's get it's getting dark. I think I, I think I need to switch back to the iPhone. But um, let me know down below the video if you prefer the iPhone or if you prefer this DJI Pocket. Yes, I've been asking this many times because I'm really doubting and I don't want to have content that is not good. You know, I want to have beautiful content and I want to provide you guys with beautiful content. So help me with deciding to film with the DJI or the iPhone. 
I bought a new iPhone, the iPhone 12. So yes, yes, that will be even more clear probably than the iPhone 10 that I was already filming with. The rest guys, we as a family of five, we have some issues at the moment. We don't know how to continue this tour. So we are making up our mind now and we have uh, discussions with the kids about this every day because we ask the kids, you know, what, what do you want to do? And we have all the possibilities at the moment. So do you want to go to Mexico? Do you want to fly back to Thailand for one or two months? Because it's getting cold over here. I don't want to walk around with hoodies. Hoodies is not my style. My style is like uh, <laughs> shirts, t-shirts, shorts and flip-flops. <laughs> that is my dressing style. Uh, and I'm, I'm getting too cold. And the family is all getting too cold and they are like, okay, what are we going to do next? I told them we can go to Mexico. I think everything is open over there. There's no rules uh, with face masks and all that uh, stuff. We don't want those rules. And then there was an offer yesterday coming in from a ski resort in Italy. Why don't you spend some time here in our resort? It's a beautiful resort. We want to build something really nice here. And we love crypto. We love blockchain. So why don't you come and visit us and spend a week or two in our resort in a ski area? So that's an op option as well. So yeah, then you have Mexico, then you have the ski resort. For me, it's all good. I love all of these options. But the kids at this point in life are like, they don't know for sure what they want, you know, and uh, we have some problems as a family with this, deciding what we want, because Thailand would also be an option going back to House of Dao to build out the digital nomad co-working, co-living place over there. We need to go in quarantine for two weeks in Bangkok, but yeah, then you get a visa for nine months, so that could be enough. And then we have the best uh, option, in my opinion, is to use this car to drive the world. Just drive from here to the next country, stay a few months there, drive to the next country, stay a few months there. But then again, Roman is saying, ah, but yeah, what with all the COVID rules? Can we drive everywhere? Is everything going in lockdown? Then you're stuck and all that stuff. So there is a lot of options at the moment. And we are, as a family, working through all these options, which one to choose. What option would you choose? That is my question. Would you drive around the world with the car? Would you go to Mexico? Would you go to Thailand? Or would you choose this option to visit this ski resort where you can ski for a month, for example? Which option would you choose? Comment down below. Maybe you can help us with deciding which direction to go. And yes, all of these options are just, you know, in between options because if we go skiing this doesn't mean that we don't drive the world with the car because we could drive with the car to the ski area and from there drive further to the rest of the world and yes if we get locked down in the ski area we can always fly from there again to mexico so it's like all these options you can we can even combine them but let me know down below the comments what you would choose. The Bitcoin family, the big one, the huge one, including you, is growing bigger and bigger and bigger. We are almost at 2K family members on the Discord server talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life every day. Um, I've been adding some moderators to keep it more safe and to keep more quality content in the in the channel. Um, we'll probably add some more moderators. I'm looking for a Spanish moderator. I don't speak Spanish, but we even have a Spanish channel in there where a lot of Spanish people are chatting with each other. So if you're in the channel speaking Spanish, English, uh, please contact me. Maybe you could be the next moderator of that channel and you can block all the scammers, etc., and help me with that. I'm, I'm really busy at the moment building the BFAT. The BFAT will be launched at the end of this week. We've been testing, we are testing the small, tiny, last bit of software. And if that all is ready, guys, then we can launch the BFAT finally at the end of this week also i reset it the counters of the discord channel the most active people on the discord channel will be rewarded in family tokens at the end of the month i think i will do this every month i will reset the counters of the most activity of the members on the discord server and at the end of the month i reward the top 10 of active people really cool way to incentivize you for being active in the discord family in the huge bitcoin family and of course i will reward you in family tokens um, I think that was everything for today because else the video is getting too long again. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. And if you don't like it, just do it a thumbs down. <laughs> and uh, guys, I hope you always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again and yes tomorrow i will visit a beautiful location somewhere in portugal so it will be a really
cool video. Bam!